Hello everyone, welcome back to Dynatrace tutorial. In this episode, we are going to cover how to do the anomaly detection with the help of matrix event. Right now I have connected to the Dynatrace console. Search for the settings. Scroll down. Here you will find an option called anomaly detection. Expand that. Click on metric events. In this demonstration, I am taking use of a CPU matrix. Likewise, you can take use of other metrics as well. For example, memory, CPU idle, logical disk related. Okay, let me click on add metric event. Scroll down, provide the name for that. I will give CPU usage demo. Inside the query definition, we need to select few things like type, metric key, aggregation level and all. First one type there are two methods metric key and metric selector metric key is going to give a particular value and metric selector is based on the query for this demo i'll go with the first option metric key click on that and search for the metric key i will filter with cpu scroll down and here you find an option called cpu usage percentage let me select that and aggregation value i will keep it as average if you'd like to change it to minimum and maximum you can change it and now in the show in explorer you are going to see the result so it will be easy to understand how the data is looking now we are in data explorer page where it is going to give the cpu utilization as you can see for the different time intervals what is the cpu usage let me go back to the previous screen and if you have any management zones, it will be very useful for the filtering purpose. You can take use of that. Then here we are seeing the matching entities. In my environment, I have only one machine. That is what you are seeing. Only one machine details here. Come down and model type. I will give it as a static threshold. And then what is the threshold value? You can click on use suggested threshold. It will give some value for your understanding purpose. In this demo, I will give the value as 10 so it means if the cpu usage is more than 10 percent i want a problem alert then threshold input unit is in terms of percent and there is one more option called per mile i am going with the first option that is percent then condition what are the options are there here we will see two options one is alert if the matrix is above x percentage or alert if the matrix is below x percentage I am looking for the first option that is alert the matrix if above than 10%. Come down inside the alert preview, you have an option to preview that. Let me select the machine details and it will show the output here. For example, here it is showing the CPU utilization like 20%, 42%, and so on, but our limit is 10%. So this is how we can visualize the data. Then come down and event template you need to provide the title how it should be for example i would like to see the entity host first then i will provide the condition and finally i will give what is the threshold value once all these things are set up you finally click on save changes so now what we have did we have created a new metric event where it will monitor the cpu usage in terms of percentage if the cpu usage is more than 10 percent it should create in a problem notification okay now as you can see all the things are set up and even it is in the enable state now if you wait for one or two minutes you will be able to see the problem notification you can directly go to the search option and look for the problems or else at the top itself you are able to see the problem notifications so let me wait for a moment okay after two minutes i can able to see the problems at the top you are able to see in the red color right this indicate problems you can directly click on this it will go to the problems or else inside the search you can type problems there also you can go to the problem sections okay so this is the problem now it generated click on the problems and it will give the detailed information what is the setup threshold and currently what percent of cpu usage is happening on that machine Currently, it is at 40% or 42%, something like that. But we have set the limit as 10%. Due to that, we have received the problem. 
and inside the event template whatever the information we have given in the same format you are able to see that right desktop name and the host details and then what is the threshold value we have set if you scroll down you can see the impacted machine details here okay and also it will give the description here the cpu usage percentage value above the normal behavior as this is a demo i have given 10 percent in case of production or a real environment usually it will be set up at the 85 to 90 percent if the cpu usage is crossed more than that then the alert will come so this is the way you can set up for the cpu likewise as i said at the starting of the class you can set it for the different components as well like logical disk memory cpu idle lot many things were available it is just an example inside the comments whatever the work you are doing you can mention it here for example work in progress okay then click on add comment the information will get updated like this work in progress and you can see the details also who has updated the information okay guys hope the session is useful for you guys thank you so much for watching bye for now